Rescue and recovery efforts continued Sunday after Taiwan's worst rail accident in over seven decades. More than 50 people were killed after a train carrying more than 500 passengers collided with a truck that slid down an embankment from a nearby construction site. More than 188 people were reported injured and dozens were admitted to a hospital. Taiwan's transport minister inspected the site and said he would take responsibility for the accident. On Saturday, loved ones of the victims gathered near the site to mourn. Priest Sung Chi Chang was there as a show of support to the survivors. He told Reuters how one woman woke up after the accident to find that both her husband and son were not breathing and had no heartbeat. She later found her daughter pinned underneath sheets of iron. As she tried to free her, her daughter's voice became quieter and quieter until there was no more response. The accident happened on Friday, at the start of a long holiday weekend. It was packed with tourists and residents going home for the traditional tomb-sweeping day, in which families cleaned the graves of their ancestors. The train was traveling from the capital Taipei to the east coast city of Taitung. According to a government-issued casualty list, the youngest person confirmed to have died was a six-year-old girl, the oldest a 79-year-old man.